What's going on, you guys? Zeke Keith Garns here. Welcome to the 34th episode of Is It Real? Now, I didn't realize that it had been so long since my last um, Is It Real video. This camera's about to fall off. Um, Is It Real video. Uh, I didn't realize that two months has passed. It was back on June 20th that I uploaded my last um is it real? And as of this recording, it's August 30th, so actually a little over two months. So anyway, let's get into the topic at hand. The topic at episode number 34 is, of course, possession. Um, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of The Exorcist. You may or may not know this. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you will be very aware of that. If not, well, I am a huge fan of The Exorcist. Um, the Exorcist is one of my favorite movies of all time. <clears throat> But it's one of the scariest, if not the scariest movie ever made. I like to say it is the scariest movie, but that's a matter of opinion, not fact. So, the question at hand is, is possession real? Um, depending on whom you ask, some people will say, yeah, it is real. And other people will say, nah, that's a bunch of bullshit. It's not real. It's fake. And the people that do believe it will say, oh yeah, it's real. Um demons exist, the devil exists, and they have the ability to control your your body, thus possessing you. So the question comes under the <clears throat> the question comes up, is it real? And unfortunately, like with pretty much every topic for the most part in this series, for most of them, um, there's really no way to pr to 100% prove or 100% disprove, which is why I made this series just talking about stuff that really can't be proven either way. It's just a matter of what I think, and I love to hear what you guys think. So if you want to comment your opinion, go ahead and comment it, and uh, I'd love to I'd love to read other people's opinions on these topics. It's fun. So possession for me, um, I don't believe that you have to believe in the devil. I don't believe you have to believe in Satan himself. Um, I think you can believe in possession and not believe in the devil. Um, what is possession? Possession is basically when a spirit, an evil spirit, takes over your body. So do I believe possession? That's the big that's the big question here. <clears throat> and the answer to that is I really don't know. Um, you know, for the most part with stuff like possession, you just kind of uh, you just kind of want to write it off and just say, "Oh, it's bullshit and this isn't, you know, this is just not possible. It's just a bunch of bullshit." But if you've watched um, possession videos on YouTube or around the internet and if you've seen um, <clears throat> I mean, not seen, I'm sorry, just brain fart there, that's why I went quiet. Not seen, but if you've actually had um, the, I guess you could say, privilege of, re of reading um, stories, the most famous story, st stories, the mo most famous stories, such as uh, Annalise Michelle, I believe her name was, um, she's pretty much the most famous case, and they made a movie about her. You may have heard about, uh, may have heard of it. Back in 2005, they released a movie called *The Exorcism of Emily Rose*, which I thought was a pretty good movie, pretty, pretty creepy, scary, if you will. Um, <clears throat> and that movie was based on on supposed true events of what happened with uh, Annalise Michelle. Um, the other case would be the little boy that was possessed that *The Exorcist* got its idea from, and instead of them. Um, making it a little boy they made it a 12 year old girl and the reasoning i've heard behind that doesn't make it true but i've heard that the reason they chose to go with a girl over a boy was because a girl is more of a victim than a boy which kind of makes sense you know um a lot of people feel worse about it being a girl i don't know why that is but it's just kind of how it is um and yeah so those are the two most famous cases but especially annalise michelle and um annalise michelle actually died from her possession, the the boy ended up recovering and supposedly is okay. Um, was okay. I don't know if he's still living, but um, his identity I don't think has ever been revealed. But is possession real? That's the gist of this. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I, a part of me believes it is. Um, actually, to be honest, I'm, a bigger part of me does believe it 
because of like I said, you know, those two really big cases and these videos, it's really hard to think that somebody's just acting. Now, a lot of people, skeptics, will say, oh, it's because they have mental illness and this and that, but there's been plenty of cases where people have had these uncontrollable bursts of anger and, and talking in languages they could have never known and uh, doing stuff like having superhuman strengths that humans just can't do. And um, there's never been an explanation for that. So it's kind of hard to say that's bullshit when in reality... Um, there's really no way to disprove it, so it's kind of hard to put, you know, put the thumb down on it being legitimate when you really can't say. So, I don't know. It's a hard one, guys. Anyway, this is The Keith Carnes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was entertaining enough. Um, I hate when I get brain farts on camera, but whatever. I don't have great editing software to edit out those blank moments, so you just kind of go along for the ride raw. Um, and that's about it. So, as always, thank you for the support. I will see you guys in the next one. Any suggestions, leave them in the comments below or send me a private message. Don't message on my um, my YouTube page because I always forget to read messages there. So it may never be read. So anyway, uh, just leave them in the comments below on this video or any other video or send them to me personally in a PM. I will see you guys in the next. Peace.